Welcome back to Ruler School, guys. My name's DMO73. Today's topic is the chase. This is a concept similar to Yu-Gi-Oh's chain or Magic the Gathering stack, but has different terminology for just this specific game. The point of this video is to show you a clear, visible representation of how a chase is formed and how it resolves. Step one, the player with priority plays a card, creating a link on the chase. They can follow this up by playing another card in addition to that in response, but if they choose not to, then priority passes to their opponent. The opponent proceeds to do the exact same thing, playing a card onto the chase, following that up with another card if they wish, so on and so forth, until they no longer want to play a card as well. Priority is then passed back to the first player to see if they want to respond to their opponent's response. If both players choose not to respond, then you begin to resolve the chase. You start at the last played card. Think of it this way. Player 1 plays a card, and only one card, choosing not to respond to their own card. They pass priority to their opponent, who decides to play one card, and then follow it up with a second. Turn player returns to having priority, and chooses to respond to the last card played by their opponent with a card of their own, essentially forming a chase, or a stack like this. Player 1, player 2, player 2, player 1. Player 2 chooses not to respond to player 1's one card. Therefore, we start resolving. This card will resolve. Then, each player gets a chance to put another point onto the chase, building back up if they want to. If they choose not to, the next card resolves. The same thing happens with the ability to play more cards onto the chase. Continue and so forth until the last card is resolved. Then, once it's all resolved, turn player regains priority and can start a new chase if they wish to. Let me go ahead and show you one more example by playing it in a board state, so you kind of see what it looks like when you're actually playing with the cards. Here's an example of a simple chase. I'm going to play the spell card, Tell a Fairy Tale, in order to try and play a card from my deck. And Nick decides to play Absolute Cake Zone, a spell that cancels my spell. His spell resolves, then my spell tries to resolve but can't because it was cancelled, so it goes away. Here's an example of something that's a little more complicated. I play Tell a Fairy Tale. He chooses not to respond. I search my deck for a Pied Piper of Hamlin and play it on board. Pied Piper's Hamlin's of Enter effect will trigger, thanks to Tell a Fairy Tale. In response to this, Nick plays a Thunder, and then another Thunder, which would deal 500 damage twice to my Hamlin. I don't want my Hamlin to die right off the bat, so I'll respond to his card with a card known as Evolution of Limits. Nick can't play anything to respond to that, so we have to let things resolve. Evolution of Limits resolves, pumping up my Hamlin. Thunder 1 resolves, dealing 500 damage to Hamlin. Thunder 2 resolves, dealing an additional 500 damage to Hamlin, but not killing him because of the extra defense. And then Hamlin's enter effect will resolve, and I'll get to lock down one of his creatures. Once all that resolves, I can play more cards as I see fit. Priority is pretty important in Resolve to the Chase, so for more information on that, go ahead and click down below under the comprehensive rules. There's a pretty handy dandy chart that talks about exactly what priority means, what it does, and when it gets passed back and forth. It's a little bit too in depth to go into in this short form video, so we wanted to make sure just to cover the ground floor and give you the information you needed. That's it for this episode of Ruler School guys. Go ahead and click here to go to the next video, or let this playlist autoplay to go ahead and see the next video automatically. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe so that you're up to date on whether or not I post new content, as well as any potential future episodes of Ruler School. As always guys, I'm DMO73, class dismissed.